guys, welcome back to new M Weekly. I just got back from the gym. I went to a Blaze class at David Lloyd. Oh, my arm is so sore. I had some vaccinations because this week I am heading to Asia. And honestly, it's like there's a brick in my arm. Hey, Matt. Hello. Matt also came to a Blaze class. So we're going to have a picnic in the garden today. I was going to go to a park and then Matt was like, why don't we just have it in the garden? And I was like, that's a genius idea. So I need to make this garden look nice first because it is overwhelmed with like what do you call them, weeds and just plants and just stuff. So I am gonna get my green fingers on and do a bit of gardening first um, in my gym kit before I shower and stuff. These are currently 50% off by the way. I'll leave a link below. They're so comfortable and I always get so many compliments when I wear them. Um, so I'm gonna do some gardening because I'm probably gonna get sweaty and then we're gonna have our first picnic. It's our first picnic ever as a couple, I think. You never have picnics with me. So if you're not from London, you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this outdoor space. But in London, outdoor space comes as a premium, particularly in like a nice area. Um, and yeah, this is actually a really good garden for a nice area. Um, but they always say get outdoor space, it'll be nice. Did not realise the upkeep of it because there are spiders, there are bugs. I hate spiders. Um, and everything's just overgrown, look. My auntie Sharon's gonna be watching this and she's gonna be like, I'll come help you with your gardening. But it's just so overgrown, isn't it, Matt? I don't know why. So we're gonna have a picnic out here. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I bought because I always get asked, what do I eat? So I'm gonna do a little show of what I just bought from the supermarket. I mean, a kilogram of fuse fusilli because why not? You have to get pasta. But yes, just in case you run out, I always get these. They're like amazing, they're really expensive, but they're refined sugar-free cereals. So I get both colours. Some olives for the picnic, some strawberries for the picnic. We got loads because they were on offer. Um, some eggs for my baking. I've put my cookie recipe and my banana bread recipe live, so I'll link them below. I ordered these from Amazon. I got 16. They're amazing, refined sugar-free, delicious. I literally live on them and they're perfect for like put it in my bag after a gym class or something so you look more of them here i literally can't be without them they're the perfect snack i know i could just make my own but convenience we pay for it right um fun fact if you guys are in the uk and you go to sainsbury's buy this rice i mean i always get tilda or uncle ben's but this is often on offer and it's like what 60p matt so me and matt always get loads Actually, Matt found this rice. Look, more of it in here because it's so good to be stocked up on and it's just affordable. A baby watermelon because Matt was saying he doesn't like watermelon. I don't know since when. I'm doing some work with Bishla. So we used to get Shola every Christmas and it was like our children's alcohol. It's amazing. It wasn't a family Christmas without it. Um, and now they've brought out this new spritz version, which honestly sounds insane. My family have been buying it for years, but the spritz one's more of a summer drink. They do have another version as well, but these were the only two available at Sainsbury's. Very impressed, very impressed. Um, some salsa for our picnic. Apples, because they're such a good snack. I literally love snacking on apples. This is perfect for banana bread because it's nice and spotty. Whole food sourdough bread whole wheat pitters because I literally live on pitter bread. This is cake that Matt's mum made us but I think it's sadly out of date now. Also if you missed last week's vlog this is the best gin. Well Hendrix is also amazing but if you're after like a gin that tastes like summer, Verano, the Spanish lemons one and their watermelon one is just insane. Um, Matt do you think I should put this cake in the bin now? I don't really want to but I think it's out of date. And me. We got some olive bread because Sainsbury's olive bread is just the best. This is amazing. So these guys do, guys do peanut butter, but we always get their korma cooking sauce because it's like healthy-ish. Got myself some yogurts because it's a nice snack to like add honey into. This one was reduced to a pound and this is the lowest sugar one we found and then this one's also really good. These are currently 50p at Sainsbury's and again, great snack. Let's tidy this up. Picnic pile, we got some breadsticks for the picnic. Matt wants some cloudy lemonade. Innocent is always on offer and it's the best. This is their pomegranate magic one, that looks really good. Hello. Question, just let me hold you. 
We had a takeaway last night from Taster Kitchens and mmm, I have this spring roll leftover which I'm definitely having with my lunch. These are my, oh, cafe lattes in here. These are also insane quark, like healthy protein yogurts. Eggs, this is also left over from the takeaway. So good, they did um, fruit, which I like. That's obsessed with pesto pasta and this is the healthiest pesto we've managed to find. Yes, or you could actually just make it yourself. I should probably just start making it myself. It's literally just pine nuts and you could put kale and spinach or whatever you fancy in a blender. So I might actually have a go at making our own. And then I actually met the founder of this at a festival, Taste of London, and he's amazing. This is just purely like guacamole, and they sell it in Sainsbury's. It's quite hard to find. It's always in the aisle with the fruit and vegetables, like hidden to the side, um, and it's amazing. It's got nothing artificial in it. So I've got this for the picnic, blueberries. I usually get my blueberries in the frozen section because they have more goodness in them than apparently, but today we're having just normal blueberries. No, it's not bananas because then I can make banana bread all week and I always have bananas. Like that, I'm changed. I just got a huge order of clothes for my trip this week, which I'm gonna try on for you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. Here's one of them. I don't like wearing stuff before I go away, but I wanna wear this today. I'm just gonna chop up my baby watermelon and then we're gonna go picnic. This is by Love Burst Love Island. It was kind of gifted to me. I have a discount code, which I'll pop on screen, which I think should still work. Honestly, I'm so impressed with the lipsticks, not an ad. <laughs> just really, really, really impressed. So I'll leave that below, but. Oh my god, wait, and if you watched last week's vlog, I went into Thomas Sabo and they kindly engraved me this. How insane is this at their South Moulton Street store? I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna chop this. spent our day in the garden having a little picnic i had a nap obviously literally straight after because i was like i need to nap um these are my new sunglasses which were kind of gifted to me from sunglass hut i'll link them below you may have seen them in my last video how nice very different i'm quite pale right now because i'm in that stage where i'm letting all of my tan come off and then i'm gonna tan before my trip being an adult i've got the bed sheets on I've got the bed sheets on the line. Literally, what am I like? I've done the garden, I've got my bed sheets dry, I've got some towels in the wash. Now I'm going for dinner. So this is a dress that I'm wearing. I'll show you it in the mirror. I love it. It was like eight pounds and I wear it all the time because it's so easy to wear. Here we go. Matt's looking dapper. This is a dress. Literally the easiest dress to wear ever. Now let's go eat. I'm so hungry. So we just got home and we got a chocolate Nutella and banana calzone to eat. <laughs> Yum. Good morning guys. I've got pineapple on my head. Matt's drinking his coffee and eating some sourdough. Oh my goodness. This is a serious blow. We just went to spin class. I burnt 700 calories and did 30 km and I'm feeling strong and I make on. I'm gonna make some pancakes now. So you guys are gonna watch whilst we have some pancakes. Happy Sunday. <laughs>
Hey guys, so it's a few hours after. I've had quite a sore throat for the last few weeks and it went away and now it's come back. Um, so I put my dressing gown on, had a shower and I'm just gonna try and relax. It's just very bruised here and I'm kind of worried because I'm going away on Thursday. Although I did have my vaccinations and she did tell me that I get flu-like symptoms. So I'm wondering if this is part of it. So I'm gonna have some Kofro, which is actually owned by one of my friends. Um, this is dairy, gluten, and soya free frozen dessert. Hope that if I spoon feed this, it will help my throat. And I'm just gonna sit and write some blog posts. Did you guys know that I actually have a blog? Because if not, I'm talking. Oh. Because if not, it's mtalks.co.uk and you should have a read. on some blog posts, eating my um, ice cream to try and make me feel a little bit better and now I'm just whipping up a nice little dinner so I'm going to make a nice pasta dish Sunday so we bought ourselves some nice fresh pasta. I'm going to use this sauce that I got from Whole Foods. wondering why I said that we're having fresh egg pasta. Gosh, I look ill, don't I? <laughs> um, we usually have whole wheat pasta just because, well, I don't know if it is healthier, but it's whole wheat, isn't it? So we eat this like <laughs> four times a week. But when it's a weekend and I want proper pasta, get me some nice fresh egg pasta from the refrigerate trial. I'd say that I'm not like the best cook, I'm more of a baker, but I can do a mean chili and a good pasta and fajitas. So, you know, I'm not all that bad, but yeah, time to have this. morning guys i didn't vlog yesterday because i just wasn't feeling very well i'm really trying to rest my throat so i have a day of back-to-back -back meetings today my hair <laughs> is very greasy even though i washed it i used this little thing that was kind of gifted to me almost everything cream by hirsch sons and um oh great don't focus there we go um and it's meant to prime shine frizz fight and to be honest done a good job today apart from my hair is greasy because I let it dry naturally so yeah I'm heading out for a day of meetings busy busy day and then I'm going to do this try and haul for you either today or tomorrow because you guys need to see that but come to some nice places in London with me this morning So, it's been literally a back to back day of meetings. I've been in meetings since I, I left the house at about half seven, but I've got a guest with me. Look, he's here. Hi. So, this isn't an ad, but this is this is something I'm working with on Instagram. But how cool is this? I'm doing some work with Papa John, so we've just gone to get our dinner for the night. Um, they deliver it to local parks, and I was like, I have to tell you guys this on the vlog, because this is what I'm doing, and it's so cool. So we've got some little pizza, and we're just sat in Hyde Park, having a girly catch up, which is so needed after such a long day. Good morning guys. So yesterday was a very busy day of meetings and to be honest, I didn't feel well all day. It was really good to catch up with everyone, but my neck is still very swollen, hence me again. No makeup on, hair on top of head. And I thought I'd finally try on these clothes because I go to Thailand tomorrow. Basically I have a few trips lined up for over a month's period. <laughs> 
gosh, I need to rent my house out for a month and make some money back. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to decide what clothes I take to Asia, what clothes I take to New York and Canada, or which clothes come to both. So I'm just kind of trying them on now and I'll link everything below. I'm also waiting for some parcels to come today. So fingers crossed they arrive because I want to go to a spin class. Um, oh, and dinner last night was so nice catching up with my friend in Hyde Park. So this is the top and the trousers. Kind of feel a bit like um, a parachuter, but I actually just love two pieces, so I still think it's very cute. I love play suits, but I can never actually find ones that fit me. But this is really cute. I like anything floaty. It's so difficult to figure out what's going to work for Koi Samui and what's going to work for New York. This is such a both dress. Like, I could wear it with trainers in New York, and then I could wear it in Koi Samui with flip-flops. This is not making things easy. Another perfect New York and Thailand outfit, but I love two pieces. Just think, also imagine I'm going to be tanned because... I need to turn, I need to get my eyebrows in tomorrow, there's all of that stuff. Oh yes, say in my meeting I got my nails done. So happy. So I've got matching toes and nails. But yeah, I love the print of this. How cute is that? Oh, I'm so sweaty, I can't even fasten this up right now. But a nice little plungy. I absolutely love the colour of this. Little cowly plungy dress. Next up, this little polka number. How cute is this? Nice little floaty polka number. I feel like my boobs might fall out. I feel like this is perfect for going to Thailand. When I have a tan. A little bit sexy, isn't it? With a um, very high leg. But I feel like with wedges in Thailand, you can probably get away with it. You guys are probably wondering why I'm going to Thailand. But you'll have to watch all of my next vlogs to find out. <laughs> How cute is this? I love like long sleeve cut out dresses just to add like breakfast or something or if you're abroad but then if you say on like a city break will be perfect for like walking around the city dependent on the heat and the print of this is so stunning. What is this? I'm like a cake. I'm imagining myself twirling around on an Instagram picture for this. <laughs> Make sure you guys are following me on Insta Instagram for all of these trips coming up. There'll be a vlog every single Friday a sit down kind of normal home video every Sunday and then on Instagram from probably Friday or Saturday my feed is going to be all my travels so I'm very excited but this is so cute I love it how special I knew I was going to love this how special I feel like this is such a nice floaty outfit and again could be worn in so many different places I know I need to put a bra on um, and this was so affordable too this was 50% off Gosh, I really like that. Ow, the bun. Does anyone else just love having their hair in a bun? Look, I'm like a tiger now. How cute is this? If anyone watched Love Island, I saw this on Mora on Love Island. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need it. Just like a nice little easy way. Let me show you the back of it. It's like open at the back. Little jumpsuit. How cute is that? This is the cutest little, look at my hair. <gasps> One shoulder dress. Um, I think this is going to come to New York with me because it's quite heavy. And my baggage allowance really isn't that great because I'm doing like internal flights around Asia. Some of them only have 20 kg, whereas my one out of Heathrow has 30 kg. Um, so I'm going to, this is quite heavy. It's cute, but I think it's more of a dress that I would wear in New York when the sleeves right. <laughs> or is this not the cutest caftan ever? Also, the bikini underneath. I basically had this in white and I wore it on both my Ibiza trips in love. So... I thought this caftan was gorgeous. Yes, yeah, so I got it in nude because um, it's just been so wearable with it being like a bandeau. Um, and I think this caftan is a dream. How cute is this? You can beat things like this for lounging around the pool either. Oh my gosh, I just can't stop looking at how bad my hair looks. This is real life, guys. Um, I feel so stressed because we need to sort a hotel. We need to sort our flight. We have a flight to Bangkok, but then we need to get a flight to Koh Samui. We've not actually sorted that yet. And then I need to pack. I need to tidy my whole flat. I need to do loads of work, and then I have an event tonight, which I'm kind of like, I already turned down an event tonight, so I was like, no, no, I need to pack the night before my flight, and now I'm going to one. Why am I like this? I knew I'd regret cramming so much in, but my play suit is nice, isn't it? So that's what matters. Um, you guys are going to see all of my clothes anyway on my videos when I'm awake, so I'm going to do each destination as a different vlog. Hopefully you guys will like that, because I think, well, I'm doing so many different places, so yeah, I'm just going to do each place a different vlog, and then you guys have got loads of different vlogs, which I hope you'll tune into. I've never seen a more me t-shirt. Obsessed. Sleepy. This is actually like a big t-shirt, but I've just tied it at the back, so that's how it was on the website. I love it. This was made for me. The comfiest t-shirt, and it has me epitomised in the middle of it. I'm always so sleepy.
cute is this? I love, well, I don't really like things that are super, super cropped, which is actually why I sized up in this, because I was like, hmm, do you need this to cover my nipple? But this is so cute. I love a two-piece, and I just thought, you know what? You can get away with this on a beach, can't you? Oh my gosh, my hair, I'm an actual tiger. I actually have something funny to tell you about my hair in a minute, but I just have a few more things to show you. I got this, which is sadly a little bit too big for me, but you may remember from my beat where I had the two-piece version. You just have to wear something underneath it, um, like a bikini or whatever, because otherwise, it's kind of naked, but how nice is the print? Literally in love with it. So nice. I just think it's a little bit too big here. I'm not going to have time to get anything done to it. I feel like when I have the right bra on, this is going to make the most amazing dress for like a dinner. I just think it's so nice the way that it hangs out at the bottom like a kind of fish dress it's very formal and very fancy but you know what i just think stuff like this is so lovely and you can even wear it on a beach with sandals which is so nice okay guys that's a lot of stuff that i've shown you so i'm gonna go and pack this in my suitcase wait for my other parcels to come and then i need to show you something that i've been working on um well yeah so i i can i'll do my best feedback for no later than one but i basically have to be out of the house from 12 till one typically um okay. I mean, I'm we'll do our best to get it there. If, if we have to leave it in the bins, you'll get a text to say that. Oh, amazing. That's, that's, that's so helpful. Thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. My ASOS puzzle is coming. Yay! But it's during my spin class, but the courier guy was so good and he was like, we'll leave it at the front of the house. Oh my god, I hope no one steals that. I really hope no one steals that. Still packing guys. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is, in January, I was super, super busy, literally straight after Christmas, doing an exciting shoot, which has finally gone live. So you will probably see me on TV. I look very different because I didn't have any bronzer on and the makeup was completely down to the makeup artists and the creative team and I was very, very pale. I've never seen myself so pale ever, but it's kind of cool because it's very different. It just doesn't look like me, but that's the thing when you're like a model, I'm not a model, but I was a model for this purpose um they make you look how they want you to look you're just kind of like a blank canvas so i am on the new tv advert for john frieda frizz it's nothing to do with, like social media so i've not been paid for anything social media wise i was purely just a model for them on the actual tv advert um you guys know i love so many hair brands but john frieda frizz is a product that i've actually grown up using and their blonde like highlighter spray thing as well so it was really really cool because i do have horrendously frizzy hair and he chose me because of my hair so i'll show you there's one tv advert which apparently it's been on during loose women it's been on during hollyoaks it's been on itv apparently it's been on everywhere it's going to be like everywhere which is crazy um but the hair looks great that's what matters and then there's also an online ad which is kind of different so i'll show you the tv one and then hopefully if you see me, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can see, because I've not actually yet seen it myself on TV, but apparently it's on during like ad breaks for really big shows and that is crazy. There we have it, lol, I've spilt chocolate on my bed, wonderful. But yeah, there we have it. So we did like quite a lot of shoot days for it. They were long days, but it was amazing. The team looked after me so well and it was really cool. It was massively out of my comfort zone. I felt like I needed a shot of tequila to be like, yeah guys, frizzy and fine. Cause I'm just not a confident person at all. I'm actually a really awkward person, but I did it and I feel like it made me grow as a person. It is so cool, like I feel very pinch me because everyone laughed at me when I first started my blog and everything and now I'm like, oh my god, I'm on a TV advert, the little girl from Yorkshire with my Yorkshire accent and my face ain't the best and I'm on a TV advert. So yeah, it was so cool and it's so cool to see it go out and the response has been amazing. So if you have spotted me, so many people said they recognised my voice and they were like, what, is that M? So I've not told anyone about it. Um, yeah, that's it's really cool. I feel very pinch me. There's also a print campaign, so you might see me, I don't know, magazines, tubes, I don't know where it might be. But yeah, that's my news. That is pretty cool, isn't it? So I'm gonna finish packing um, because this has taken a long time. 
and then um, I need to go and do a bit of work. And just like that, I'm ready. Went to the gym, went to a spin class. Oh, it was so good, I feel so much better. Then I went to Whole Foods and bought so much lunch. I need to stop buying stuff from Whole Foods. I'm gonna slot in a clip from earlier this week when I also went to Whole Foods it was the day that I was ill, so I didn't vlog that day because I just bought the exact same stuff as I bought then, so I can show you at least what I bought. So I go into Whole Foods and I buy my lunch and oh my gosh. I'm so excited for today's lunch. I got what I always got, what I always get even. Basically veggies and turkey and I'm so excited. Look at the greenery, some more of the sauce which is amazing and then some peanut butter cups. Not that I'm gonna eat all of them now but just for my snack cupboard. Um, I'm kind of pale on my chest because I'm gonna tan tonight. I don't know how I've turned my hair around from being on top of my head and being disgusting. I use dry shampoo. And then I used this and brushed it out, the Hirschson stuff I was telling you guys about. And somehow, I don't look like a drum rat. I don't know how I did that. My other parcels arrived. I'm so happy. So my suitcase is looking good. And I've got this dress on. How stunning is this? I'll link it below with everything else. Meant to be saving it for my trip. I might save this for New York. But now I'm heading for dinner. I have an event with Botanics. And I'm very excited. Should not be going. I've got too much work to do. Also, oh, I don't think you can see, but I have glitter on my eyes. And it's by Stila. So excited about that product. Yeah, so basically, I need to go for a dinner now. I'm only gonna go for like an hour or two because I really need to get back, book my flights, book some hotels, pack, sort everything out because I go tomorrow, oh my gosh. Um. So yeah, right, let's go to this dinner. I'm back now, hair is straight back on top of the head from a lovely meal with Botanics. Oh, why am I not in focus? And then I just had this, which was kind of gifted to me in a meeting. Mm, so good, M&M's inside chocolate. So I'm gonna go now, guys. Thank you for watching this vlog, I love this dress. Everything's linked below that I've mentioned. Come say hi on Instagram and Twitter, and the next time you see me, I will be abroad. Goodbye, guys.